Good morning, everyone. Welcome into my channel. I am just laughing. I'm sitting here in the parking lot of Roots Flea Market, and I am trying to avoid this bright sun to be able to make a thumbnail. All right, it is Tuesday morning. It's about 7 a.m. I woke up a little bit late, which is sometimes nice, but we're going to get into the flea market. We're going to see what the vendors have today. I love this flea market, Roots Flea Market. I believe it's considered Mannheim or East Earl. I always forget where I am, but we're going to go into the flea market. I'm bringing you with me. Hit that like and subscribe button. It's a flea market kind of day. All right, it's about 7 a.m. like I said. Vendors are setting up, promises to be a really beautiful day. I am very unprepared. I have no Ikea bags with me, but I do have cash today, so that is a good sign. All right, we're gonna do our quick sweep of everything that is being sold, and then we're gonna zoom in on the good stuff. Now, for those of you who feel sensitive when I make offers to people, that's just the nature of yard sales and flea markets. I am a full-time reseller supporting myself this way, so I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make money. Oh, these prints are gorgeous. I saw these last time. All right. We're going to hit a few of our favorites. Oh, these people are serious. I don't know if this is coming in or going out. Wow, look at all that stuff. Lots of stuff. Okay, I think this is Ollie here. We're gonna see what's going on at Ollie's. Oh, I do like this big horn. Oh, they're Bosnian. Oh, that one's... 45. That is gorgeous. Is that a shofar? Is that what that's called? 45. That is beautiful. Okay. Good morning, Ollie. Good morning. That is beautiful. <laughs> what? Can you, is that a shofar? Uh, no. Okay. No. I think it's just a horn. Just a horn. Yeah. Somebody taught me about shofar. Okay. Oh, did they? Wow. And uh, it's, I think it sounds a little different. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I've never seen one, so, but yeah. this is just a horn. What kind of animal do you think? This must be a... I know there's water buffalo, oxen. Well, it's a pretty big one. Yeah. So whatever it is, I, yeah. I have no idea. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I know eBay has been very strict about what kind of animals they're coming out of. You know, really? you have to, yeah, because certain animals are protected. Oh, you so can't you can just no say longer, bone. no. I put something up and just called it bone. It was like, that's Grimshaw, you know, it wasn't a genuine, but they took it down and they said, no, you have to identify the animal, which, you know, we have to protect the animals. But, yeah. Yeah. but, all right, I'm going to scout out and I will definitely be back. I do like the horn. So interesting. How have you been lately? Uh, I am here. Yes, yes. <laughs> you're up and you're, yeah. Now tomorrow I, I go to, uh, what is it, uh, over... Uh, Leesport? No. Oh. No, in the, uh, what is that? Right across from the river in uh, New Hope. There's a, uh, I can't remember the name, oh my gosh. Uh, it's a big flea market. They have it in Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I go Wednesday. Really? Yeah. I, I in have, New Hope. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, it's uh, it's right across from New Hope, on the Jersey side. Okay. I can't remember the name. You'll think of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. When I forget, I'm like, I'll get back to that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. How your business been? Crazy, crazy busy. Everything is busy. Yeah, eBay's been a little bit slow. Sales have been slow, but that's the time of the year. You know, I'm in it. I'm going in my 11th year, so I'm used to the oh, highs wow. and lows. Yeah, 
But um, overall, good. Thank you, Ollie. Things are good. I am up at it early. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Some Callaway Golf Clubs over there. I don't do as well with Callaway Golf Clubs as I do with Titleist. Titleist is the number one brand golf club that I do well with. It assays. Because this is a this new seller here. I haven't seen him before. One of my favorite sellers. Love all of this good stuff. Good morning. How are you? I am late. I am running late this morning. I slept in a little bit. I was supposed to tell you that spot 70 out there, there's another woman that walks the show all the time. Really? Yeah, because she said something this morning. I said, I know, I know, Lavender. <laughs> and what, how do we know the numbers of the spots? It's on the ground. Oh, okay. You know, I never noticed that. They're not very Yeah, it would be helpful if they would do that. I'll put a suggestion in the office. <laughs> I'll run the flea market. <laughs> Because, you know, I got nothing else going on. <laughs> Except, you know, you know. Oh, my word. I love pottery. Yeah. That is a pretty colorway. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, I love this. Mexico. Is this considered Tanala? Is this? <laughs> We're gonna say it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Tanala style, we'll yeah. say that. I'm gonna take this one. So pretty. Isn't this interesting? Oh, they put the pattern right through the, the bottom. bottom. But it's just not on the top. It's just. But I thought how pretty it is on the bottom. Yeah, that is pretty. Yeah. Little trinket dish. Mm -hmm. I have a thing for birds. I'm getting so old. <laughs> on Mother's Day, I just sat on my patio for a couple of hours with my fiance, and all we did was watch birds. I said, We have we arrived. It, it was yeah. so peaceful. Yeah. It was so nice. We do that a lot, yes. So nice. Yeah. But that's when you have it, when you can sit in the back porch and watch the birds. Yeah, yeah, that's living, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness, all this running. Yeah. But this is gorgeous. I'm going to take this okay. one. All right. Let's see what. Thank you. Pretty plates. Okay, I have been buying the celery dishes and selling them. Don't know if I have any left in my store. So I'm not buying all china that has, you know, a floral pattern on it that's pretty. But, all right, I think that's what we're gonna get right off the bat. And, oh, this little piggy picture back there, that's sweet. It's very bright and sunny, making it hard to really focus in on stuff. I'm squinting. All right, we're going to go with that. Okay, we see a little glass bird. He probably has some chippies on him. Oh, it's Avon. Look at these little... I'm going to put this down so I don't break it. Please don't break. Okay. See, I didn't bring my Ikea bags. Don't have my act together. Look at these. I don't even know what this is for. I was just wondering... It came nice after the wicked no, salt. Nice okay. Need more for those than for them. But it's too salt. big for a salt cellar, would you say? Unless it would have been a master salt. Oh, a ma oh, I love that idea. Master salt. Boy, that's pretty. I have never seen those. No, I've never seen those either. And you're charging $2? $2. dollars $2 each. I will take those. Those are beautiful. Yeah, are they chipped at all? My eyesight is not what it used to be. Especially out in this bright sunshine, but those are lovely. I love these vases. I see like a slight imprint, but I don't even know if that was a mark or just something that happened in the kiln. She is beautiful. I don't know a lot about these on how they do on eBay. You know, the comps for them. $10. That is a very good price. This pitcher is gorgeous. Ironstone pitcher. Furnival Sons. Probably saying that wrong. $18.90, $30. Oh, do not want to ship that, but boy, that's a beauty. 
All right, let's go on to the next vendor. This is the vendor that always has a lot of books and art. I am still on the hunt for a large painting for above our bed when the addition is finished. I want the painting to be a landscape, like, you know, the Northern Great Plains, something like that. No trees, no river, just very uh, peaceful. That is what I'm on the hunt for. I would like an original, but of course I don't want to pay a lot for it. So we'll see how that goes. I imagine that's going to take quite a while to find. Okay, the flea market is crowded today, which I love. Crowded with vendors, I mean, it's not too bad customer-wise yet. We're trying to beat the crowds. Oh, I see a little lamb planter. Generally, these don't bring a lot, but of course they always catch my attention. Sweet. Oh That's too much work. How are we tired? Can we sit? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Well, we build a... 60. Getting ready for next Easter, huh? I have never seen a cane like this before. Abalone shell with a ram head, maybe? Huh. I know there are. Whoops, something dropped. Oh, that looks dangerous. It's like a blowgun. That is all abalone shell. Quite heavy. I have sold canes before. <laughs> I have sold everything before. Oh, it is the day of horn horns. <laughs> horn horns. That might actually be a powder horn. Powder horns, 20% off today. That is a lovely one. Like I said, eBay is really... Um, wanting to know what these horns are made out of. You have to identify the animal because there are so many animals which are protected, which is a good thing. That is definitely a good thing. I do like this little basket down here. I wonder if it's a nesting basket. I'm gonna have to move all of these guys to see if there are other baskets inside this basket. Oh, there are not. Okay, he's attributing this to somebody. Looks like Lila and Elliot, or Leela. That is quite sweet. Oh, look at this little boot keychain. That is very fun. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, how honey. are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Good. You surprised me. I wasn't expecting you in this spot. <laughs> oh. How's it going? Good. How about for you? Good. Busy. Good. 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 Oh, longer burger. How much are your baskets? It just depends on which one. Okay. Did this originally come in here? It looks like it did. Yes. I've yep, never they, seen that. Is it like a little picnic? What is the use it is of this? It's a complete set. It was just used as like a like a ruched. Oh my goodness. Basket. Look at that. Yeah, it is a collector's club basket. Okay. And what are you asking for it? I do 30 on that one. That is very interesting. Yeah, that's a real neat one. Yeah, it is. Lots of baskets. So oh, this one's a sweet one too. Okay, give that some thought. Okay, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, Roger is not with me this morning. He's at his other job. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Roger is a full-time eBayer. He has been for many years, and he is also a cabinet maker by trade. And now he is retired from cabinet making, and he drives for the company. So he delivers custom cabinetry 
pretty much in state. Sometimes they send him out of state and he has work today. So unfortunately, he's not with us. Oh, my salt and pepper shakers. They are very fun to look at. I have never even thought of collecting these. But when I see people's collections, it is so fun. Look at these brass eggs. Is that what this is? Oh, they're plastic. Oh, that fooled me. Tricked me. The clear glass animals were always pretty shining in the sun. Lead crystal. Those are beautiful. Princess house. Oh, little tiny baskets. How sweet are those? Those are adorable. $5 and $6. I wonder if they take $10 for the two. So like I was saying, for those of you who feel sensitive when I offer a lower price to a seller, that's the nature of the business. That's how you do business. You know, I fully support my whole, my whole endeavor, my whole life on what I make on reselling because I save my YouTube money. So for those of you who are sensitive about it, I always give the seller the opportunity to say no. I never force anybody or, you know, try to you know, really um, be strong-handed about it, if that's a term. But yeah, that is the nature of flea marketing, yard selling. Well, this vase is different. Look at that. Probably made in Japan, yep. Lusterware. <laughs> These things are so pretty. So pretty. That is pretty. I've not seen one like with that colorway and pattern. To match the, I like the iridescent. Yeah, luster wear. Yeah. Pretty. How you doing? What are you asking on it? Ten dollars. Okay. All right. I have to say the whole, you know, flea markety type of stuff that's not vintage. Ah, oh, waste of space. <laughs> I know the flea market has to rent to whoever they can get. Okay, these horses are kind of cool. Are they heavy or are they light? Oh, they're light, very light. Looking for briar marked on the inner thigh usually. I don't see the marking. They are beautiful. Okay, pony, stand back up. Not sure how he stands. I'm just going to leave him like that. I don't want him to fall. Vintage clothing. Look at this little gown. Probably originally a christening gown. So sweet. Hey, how are you again? A feed sack. That's a new record. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that topiary. That is quite unique with the bird. From far away, I thought it was a woman's hat. I would have liked a hat with a bird sitting on top. I think when Roger and I retire, like really retire, we'll probably flea market. We'll be flea market vendors and try to sell off all the stuff that we've accumulated in the house. It is a lot of work for these people all this setting up and breaking down. Some of the vendors actually have permanent sheds that they keep their stuff in. Probably a lot easier than putting this in and out of the car every morning. I can appreciate that hard work. Okay, I'm seeing a metal crown. I'm not saying it's old. Look at this. That is so interesting. So I guess it's a planter? No, that can't be a planter. What are we looking at? Huh. To me, those two bars would mean it's a planter, but that top doesn't come off. So interesting. Oh, this little picture is lovely. Is this hand-painted? It's under glass, which is not a good idea when something is hand-painted. It almost looks like a paint-by-numbers under glass. 
I kind of like that. Another piece of original artwork. This one's a watercolor. Lovely. I really like the aesthetic of this table. Oh, the bird has lost part of his wing. That's unfortunate. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. good you. I love your aesthetic. Oh, thank so you. pretty. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, try to work my magic with. Yes. When you're outdoors, it's a little hard, but you know. Yeah. No, I love outdoors because yeah. you can really see everything yeah. more clearly than in, you know, inside. But. This is all fresh stuff this week. So. Okay. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That is great. Yeah. I love the little paintings. Aren't yeah. Fun, uh, yeah. My number? Yes. Yeah. My artwork is moving very Aww. slow, so I'm trying not to pick it up, but that's what my heart loves. So that's love that's always yeah. a conundrum, right? Well, it's 10 if you would want that little seaside Thank you. Or there's this one. Yes. This is the water, too. Yep. Okay. Yep, it is. I don't know about putting paint by numbers under glass. I was wondering about that, but it does protect it, which is nice. It keeps it clean. But they are lovely. I'm going to give those thought. I really like those. He's allowed that. That's his limit, right? Okay, I'll be back through. I always do that quick walk through. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody is so sweet and kind. Pennsylvania is a great place to live. It really is. Very welcoming neighbors when I moved in. You come to the flea market, you make friends. I sound like a commercial for Pennsylvania, don't I? Come to Pennsylvania, <laughs> where the flea markets are good and the people are kind. Maybe that's another career. I'll put that on the back burner for now. Okay, I'm seeing these chairs. No, I don't need these chairs, but last night I was on Facebook Marketplace and somebody was giving away a free dining room table. And I think with Roger and I getting married, uh, we're probably going to be hosting dinners and stuff more. So I really have to turn my house into an eBay YouTube home. Like really where I have things set up to entertain also. I haven't really been entertaining besides like us getting pizza or Chinese food sitting in the living room for many years because I am so busy. Look at that jacket. Wow, I spotted that from far away. That is beautiful. What is that? Oh my word. Is this leather? Boy, is that gorgeous. It's a very small size. Oh, maybe I can't lift it. Your jacket, is this yours? That is beautiful. Yeah, I was down in a bike week by uh, Native Americans. Wow. A lot of work in that. Oh, for sure. I can appreciate that, and the leather is gorgeous. What are you asking for it? 150. 150. Wow, that's nice. I would think it's a woman's. It looks yeah. pretty small, right? Two years ago, uh, or small guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, I'll give that thought. I really like that. What does the front look like? Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is so sweet. What would be your best price on it? Oh, I love this. That is great. Maybe 140. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yep. So it's a size large, but that does not look like a woman's large. Wondering what that translates to. I'm going to say that's a woman's medium, I would think. Okay, I'm going to be back through. I'm walking through. That's really nice. Wow, that is gorgeous. Okay, so his best would be 140. 
what do I think I could sell that for? Maybe 300, I'm thinking. It would take a while to sell because that's a very small jacket. But I think that would definitely be worth it. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to run a comp on that too because when you start spending that kind of money, it's always good to really do your research before you buy it. I'm gonna be sitting on it for a while, waiting for the right buyer, but that is a showpiece. While researching this jacket, I came across a site that is called Starwear Status. They are a company that sell very rare and custom leather jackets. They have sold Michael Jackson's personally owned custom jacket and other Hollywood stars. So I was shocked to find my jacket from this site. It's a 1980s Baja trading company, Native American chief motorcycle jacket with a wolf on it. They call it a sick piece. It did sell on their site for $1,250. Now I don't know if it's the same exact jacket because mine looks like it's in much better condition. I'm thinking probably a few of these were made, but how happy is this find? I'm so glad I found it. So I'm probably gonna price mine closer to the $1,250 mark rather than the $300 I previously thought. All right, so now we are starting back at the beginning. All right, so what pieces did we really want to consider? I'm going to count my cash and see what I have on me. I know I brought a little bit extra today, but I didn't expect to be buying a $140 jacket. All right, so I'm going to run comps and see if I can find anything similar to it. So this is my first trip back to the car. I might end flea marketing with this because I still haven't shipped out this morning. I've got to run home and get that done. And I'm probably going to add to this video with a few pieces I've been wanting to talk about. But first, let's do a mini haul right in the trunk. This first jacket is the find of the day. Gorgeous 1980s vintage all handwork hog jacket. Oh my word. Look at the work on this. So this is Baja, I believe it's 1980s. Stunningly beautiful, in wonderful condition. This is a ladies large. And I wound up paying 125 for it. The man had asked 140. I asked him what his best was. He said 130. And then I countered with 125. Just the nature of the business. Nobody's insulted, nobody's feelings are hurt. I do the same thing when I sell locally. Here is a granny square crocheted blanket and this was kind of laying in a box slot i asked the girl what she wanted for it and she said give me a dollar yes please so we picked that up this bowl i actually did not purchase a lovely viewer named joanne came up to me and we talked for a while she is from virginia and up here visiting family and wanted to gift this bowl to me so sweet thank you so much joanne i love it here is a favorite of mine I don't know that these bring a lot of money. Made in Mexico, Tanala, and $3 I paid for it, so pretty. Little bit of chip on the edge, but that does not bother me in this kind of pottery. And then two small, I'm gonna say these are probably salt cellars. Little crystal ones with birds on top, $2 each. I got two of them. The vendor thought maybe these were the master salt cellar for the table. But I'm unsure. You guys know I don't know glass. The top comes off. It has a little sawtooth edge there. The detail on these things is just beautiful. Look how sweet this is. Little birds around the base and $4 for the two. Leave a comment down below if you guys know what these are for sure or you just want to make up what they are. <laughs> I'm always open to that too. All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going inside to get some Greek food to bring home. And as always, go out and get what's yours. Here is the house edition update for the video. <laughs> sheetrock got delivered this morning. Very large truck brought in lots of sheetrock. Look at the size of this. I cannot wait for walls. Cannot wait. I'm going to be so excited. I think it's happening day after tomorrow. So yesterday, the insulators came in, and all of the walls are now insulated. And sheetrock is delivered. Starting to come together. Starting to look like a real part of the house. 
So I think we're about halfway through. I don't know because I don't know construction, but I think sheetrock is a really good sign. I will be sure to film when the sheetrock is up so we can see what the rooms actually look like. It's very hard to tell the size of rooms when there's nothing up on the walls, you know, when, when it's not partitioned. This is the bathroom. Bedroom. And kind of like the laundry hallway, I'm going to call it. Well, I am certainly in the thick of the renovation. Every part of this project is touching the house. And that's just what happens when you do a renovation or addition. So this is my kitchen presently. What I'm dealing with feels a little like camping. You know, all the Venetian blinds are down and everything is in different rooms. A lot of stuff came off the walls because when you bang, you don't want things falling. Okay, so this is the present state of the dining room. You guys have all seen this. The wood is acclimating. This is the wood that's going to go in my office. It matches the kitchen. This is the hardwood bamboo in Java, I think. Antique Java, something like that. All right, so this is my dining room at the present moment. And somewhere along the line, I decided to start organizing the house. So I'm building all of these bins marked with different things that you just need in life. And I figure when Roger moves in, he can just put his stuff in with mine. Always drop cloths because it's just always people coming and going in the rugs, trying to protect the rugs. All right. So this is what the dining room looks like. Living room is not much different. I now have my shipping area in the living room because my office is completely gutted. And this is what is going on here office in this corner this is inventory i'm working on these are the mennonite dresses i picked up at the yard sale i'm halfway through that pickup i picked up all totaled probably about 24 dresses from two different sellers and for those of you who were you know concerned about me not paying enough for these dresses as i'm going through the dresses some of them have flaws um you know just different things and that happens with a bulk buy so my best advice is if you want to do a bulk buy and pay full price that's totally fine but as a smart seller i consider myself pretty savvy you always have to make sure that either you're checking every item really carefully to pay full price or you offer a lower price knowing a certain amount of it is going to have flaws that's just the nature of people wearing clothing when it's pre-owned all right if you hear saws and things in the background the men are here putting up drywall which is always exciting yes this cat is listed i said oh there's a nail on the wall i'm just gonna put it there so this is what this is looking like not too bad i did cover my couch just because you know everything is dusty all right so going this way we have a lot of these walls going on this is just this doorway you know closed off because a lot of the work is behind there this <laughs> Shelves got taken off the wall for the men to access the attic in the established part of the house. So all of this is now on the floor. We're just going to have to rehang all of that. This is the back room where the inventory is. You guys saw I just picked this up this morning. This has to be washed. Um, I took all the wire hangers off of the Mennonite yard sale clothing. So this is what I'm working on this week. There is the gorgeous jacket. Can we just all appreciate how good this jacket is? Let me see if I can turn this mannequin with one hand. And it fits her like a dream. I guess my mannequin is, is a motorcycle rider. <laughs> all right, so this is the second half of the pickup, a little bit less than half. All of these dresses are assessed and photographed. Um, this one's still drying. So I just popped it in the washing machine. It had some pretty severe staining. A few of these dresses have big flaws. I'm going to sell them anyway. See if I can find one. See this? It's lined with a certain material, and it's very, like, pilling, pitted. Now, I'll still sell this, but I'll get half of what I normally would have gotten. That's why, in my opinion, you have to be really careful what you pick up. A few of these dresses had stains that did not come out. But still, overall, a good profit, but it wasn't like I was unfair, in my opinion. This is the first one that sold. It is probably the best dress in the lot. And after fees and all of that, I won't even make $20, but that's fine because there's multiples. All right, and then this is the stuff from the yard sale and some other things I'm working on. This is all tomorrow's work. Lisa's going to be here. 
hopefully. You're going to be here, right, Lee? <laughs> and we will be processing all of this, hopefully clear the room out or close to it. All right. So that is the story here. If I could get one thing fixed in this house is squeaky floors. They're so squeaky. If you're a teenager, you'd never sneak out of this house in the middle of the night. All right. As you can see, all the pictures on the walls are all crooked from all of the banging going on. But that is what's going on here. And yeah, I will keep you updated for when we have the sheetrock on the walls. And I live for the day when all of this is out of my dining room. All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.